Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Conversations with a Luciana. As always, I hope you are taking care of your mental and physical health. Happy Thanksgiving to you, wherever you are, wherever you are on your way to. Get there safely, have a good time, enjoy family and friends. I am mobile, as always, but uh, I'm not always mobile. That's a lie. Sometimes I'm stationary, but um, today I'm mobile. I'm moving around. I'm so grateful for so many things. I'm grateful uh, to be alive. I'm grateful for um, the ability to speak with you. I'm grateful for you all that listen. Subscribe, like, comment, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm, I'm very I'm very grateful and thankful because uh, last year around this time, I think I was um, the beginning of COVID for me. I actually got COVID. Um, I talk about it very candidly about my COVID experience and conversation with Eluciana was birthed then. Um, during that time, I had clarity. You um, won't believe how much clarity, um, besides being sick, um, that I got. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on my COVID experience because it was rough, but I made it through. So what I decided to do, I was talking to uh, Team One um, and my team was discussing, uh, you know, how they keep their stuff in order. And so they have a journal um, that they write things down. It's sort of like a to-do list, task list, right? You know, so you won't forget. It's not that you're suffering from any type of memory loss. Sometimes if you're like me or a part of, uh, of my team or any team, you have like a hundred things that you have to do. You're not going to remember them all you know you might remember some of them but you know you ever walk into you know the kitchen or the bathroom or you walk into a room you're like what did I come in here for you know it's okay to have sticky notes all over because you will forget you're human you have so much going on outside and inside um, your house or your office that you tend to just overlook something not intentionally but anyway, you do. So let me get back on point. Um, and so I decided that I'm going to buy a journal. Now, mind you, full disclosure, I have a, like about 20. I have 20 notebooks. Um, I have a lot of journals. I do. You know, I, I buy them. I, I like the way they look. Oh, that's going to do this um, for me. So I get that. Then I have one that tells me to a task list or a calendar. I have that one. I have all. I don't like the recycle paper. But I did find one that I really, really like, and I'm probably going to get more of them because it's um, the Cambridge edition. I think you can get it on Amazon. That seems to be the one, my go-to one. I tend to like that one. Now, as I get more and more um, creative or things happen, I probably will get a big one. But this one works for me. So I decided to find that one. But anyway, I found one, an old one. And so I started, because um, I do write, you know, I do write short stories. Um, I found that one and I flipped to the back because, you know, and I'm going to use this one until it's time for me to get a new one. Don't want to overspend and buy things that you don't need. Right. But anyway, I'm staying on point. Go with me. And so I decided that, you know, I'm going to basically have a to-do list, a task list, because I get busy and I get to say, I want to do all these things. Um, and I ne never get to half of them because I'm too busy getting distracted. But now I said to keep myself organized, I'm going to, I'm going to keep a, a list, a to-do list. Now, with that being said, um, keep my things in perspective. You know, I want to keep things in order. Um, that's the reason for to -da, a to -da, a to-do list or a task list. It's, uh, it's just to keep yourself in some type of, um, that you're not all over the place, you know, like my words just got tangled. You know, just keep me in check, right? Now, I was getting up, you know, and I realized there were no text messages that were unread. There were no phone calls that I needed to return. There were no emails. Um, I had people wishing me a happy Thanksgiving, which was great. And then I realized something that uh, I'm single. And uh, I don't have to do anything. I can write that to-do list and I can have a task list and I can decide that I'm not doing none of it and throw it away. <laughs> um, 
I really start thinking about it's not about um me being by myself. I I enjoy I'm enjoying this time. I I really am. I set out. I looked forward for this day for like a month that I decided that I was going to just chill. I know I said I pissed off my entire family. To some degree I may have made them um you know not want my presence. But also, I decided that it's important for me to um, really reflect and really get grounded in what I am trying to do. You know, being single, and we all talk about this, being single has gotten a bad rap. I mean, people equate being single with being lonely, and that's not really the case. That's not the case at all. You really do. um, You can do whatever you want to do. You know, Um, not everything like you you can't live uh, reckless and lawless. You can, but you might end up in jail or dead. But um, seriously, though, you really can do whatever you want to do. The sky is the limit. You're not you only limit yourself. Like some people think that you have to be around people. Um, You have to. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, it is good to be with oneself to get to know you. Uh, I'm not missing out. You're not missing out because you are in this stage, at this stage of life where it really truly is all about you. Um, You can, you know, buy, do whatever you want to do, have trips. You can focus on the things that matter to you and you're not missing out. You're actually self-fulfilled, not self-absorbed, but you're really, once you get this thing, it's a powerful, powerful new way of looking at your endless possibilities. Well, while I started off saying that you can have a to-do list in a journal because you have so many things that you want to do. So many things you want to get out there and get done that you just can't contain yourself and you have to pace yourself, but also that you can take this um, time and you can tear up that to-do list. You don't have, you're, you're not obligated to anyone, you know, and we miss that. We miss that part where it's like you, it's almost like a, a child discovering that they can walk. You know, and then they discover they can run and you should be running towards your purpose, running towards your destiny. You don't need someone riding, running beside you, you know, not necessarily if that's not, um, that's not your charge. That's not where you are in life. Sometimes you try to force yourself into something that you were not meant to force yourself to be in a relationship. Um, you know, you could sit back. Sometimes people are feeling sorry for themselves. I feel like a sneeze coming on. I do. I tell you, I'm in my mobile studio. I feel like a sneeze and I'm trying to not do that right now. I can feel it. And I'm talking to you guys, but I can feel that sneeze. But anyway, um, I don't apologize for me being me, you know, and people try to put me in a box. People try to tell me what to do. People try to tell me how to think, what to say. You know, no, you don't, you don't have that right. I did not hand the keys to my life over to you and tell you to drive. Where I think their relationships are great for people. And, uh, you know, some people are successful, you know, in them. And some people are not, you know, I'm one of those people that right now for this time that I am in, it's really about me. I don't say that to be like conceited. I say it with confidence. You know, I can do whatever I set my mind to. If I want to go back to uh, pursue my education, I can do that. If I want to buy those $200 tennis shoes, I can do that. You know, I don't have to live restricted. Who basically told you? Who, you know, you told yourself. And when did you stop giving yourself permission to live freely? When did you stop giving yourself that permission? You know, it, everything happened. Everything happens around you. 
and uh, you begin to, because I am, I'm going to talk about me, because I am a um, people magnet, or I feel, or I try to put myself in other people's um, shoes, that sometimes I get more caught up in what's going on over there. I don't want to live for them. I don't want their life, but I take on that cause, you know, and I'm like, no, no, that's, that's not me. That's not me. That's you. And then I forget about me. I mean, I always come back to me. I center myself real quick. Months, years don't go by uh, without me knowing who I am. No, 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 no. I don't have that problem. But when you really trying to do when you're on the brink of greatness or the new discovery you would have to you just got to scale back and realize like when did I stop giving myself permission to be okay with just being where I am at you know enjoying this moment because time is a series of moments you know I don't want to look back at my life and say, man, I should have did that. Oh, I could have did that. You know, I always say live life with no regrets. You're going to have some disappointments, ups and downs. You're going to have some valleys that you have to go through. You're going to have to have some hills. You're going to have to climb. There are going to be people that's going to walk away from you. There's going to be people that's going to walk into your life, walk out of your life. That's just the nature of the beast. That's life cycle. Give yourself permission to be you, to do the things that you want to do. You're not restricted or obligated to fit into anybody's idea of what you should be, you know, and sometimes, you know, I was just thinking, you know, one day you're up, um, I'm up more days than I'm down, but you know, you begin to say, well, damn, nobody is calling people that you thought that you had an impact Um, in their life, they don't even call and check up on you. It's the ones that you may not hear for six or seven, eight months that think about you on holidays, that want to do something, that are proud of your accomplishment, um, that you have made this, you know, the changes that you made for the better. And you can get into your feelings and you start thinking, where are the other people that I helped out? Your legacy, what you bring to the table, All of that does matter. It will matter. But you cannot, and this is something even that I had to realize, you can't take everybody with you on your journey. Sometimes you got to stop, lock the door, and say, no, I'm not going to answer it. You got to be okay with being okay till you can do better. Single is a state of mind. It's not a death sentence. You know, it's what you do. While you have the opportunity to do it, you know, often people are like, oh, you shouldn't buy that. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Why? Why? You're not me. I don't have to live penny pinch everything. I don't have to not go on certain trips because you can't go. I I don't have to sit there and say, oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. You know, I can put that money away for retirement. Yeah. And you can die the day before retirement and never spend that money. You know, it's like, come on. Come on, if we, we are, we're really not control, we're not in control. We're really not. We think we are in control, but we're not, you know, we're not, you know, I was, I told my son, I think I said this in the previous podcast. I said my son that like, what's going to happen is one day you're going to say she was born. She did a lot of stuff in between and she died. That's it. That That's it. It's what you do in between. You know, it's in between the life, the moments, those memories that count for something. You know, if you're if you're dwelling on what you don't have, who you're not with, you're that time, that that particular time, you're not going to get back. They have moved on with their life. This is not a relationship podcast. I'm just saying, you know, I take you guys with me. I'm getting ready to go on some trips next year. You know, I know be safe. You know, COVID is still out there. But I'm not going to sit there and just be like, oh, well, you know, the highlight of my my existence or life is not going to Jamaica, not knocking it, or going to Mexico, not knocking it, not going to Vegas, Uh, I'm over that, but not knocking that either. I want to see something different. I want to explore something different. 
I can do that. A story that uh, a story someone told me, and she was she was a lady. I think I I think I mentioned it before, but basically she wanted to experience life at the highest level, and she wanted to take a trip that's going to cost well over uh, maybe a hundred thousand dollars, and she scaled it back. But she's like, I deserve the best. I didn't have the best um, time in my twenties, but I found out who I am. And what I what I like, what I didn't like, and I decided that I like to travel. So guess what? There are five must-have trips I must do in my lifetime, and I'm going to do that. I'm not working for people's opinion. I'm not working for people's advice. I'm telling you that I'm not working for people's opinion. I'm not working for people's advice. I'm doing what is best for a Luciana. You do what's best for you. You take in consideration everybody else. Like I said, you can't be so self-absorbed. That you don't see what's around you. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I am saying that I am definitely, um, definitely going to be more of, uh, not a thrill seeker, but just a opportunity uh, taker. You know, I have this opportunity. I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to, I'm going to go. But, you know, I woke up this morning just grateful and thankful. I can do, I could, I organize stuff. I put stuff away. I decided that I was going to, you know, be on the go and do some things. And I'm fine with that. You know, other people are like, well, you know, you need to, no, I don't need to do none of that. No, nope, don't need to do that. I don't subscribe to your channel. I'm not extra in your movie. I am the star of my own movie. So, you know, that being said, you have to Really, you got to get to know you, you know, really. And sometimes that self-discovery is kind of painful, you know, because you realize some things that you may have said, you may have done, um, but, you know, cause certain things to happen, but you move on. But no, you know, life is, life is, is wonderful and it's great and it's, it's, well worth it every minute every moment if you had to work today on thanksgiving okay you had to work you had to work you enrich somebody else's life by being a positive light that they probably wasn't going to get at home you know that's okay that that is okay you making money you know you making money you storing those uh green uh paper for the winter you never know what's going to happen or the fall, or summer, or spring, whatever. You're just saving up for something. But, yeah, it's it's no reason to complain. If you're at home, you know, that, that idea that you had, you have time to think about it and do it. You know, don't let people put you in, back you into the corner, and where you have to either crouch down, cower down, and cover up, or you come out fighting, swinging. You just move out your way and go get out your own way. Get out your own way. You know, and do um, what you were born to do. Um, you know, again, we're all on this. Uh, we're all on this um, same uneven playing field, you know, and we're just trying to get to the end zone. Yeah, you can tell I like sports. But, you know, you can't really, you can't really focus on um, because you don't have the significant other or somebody in your life. It's okay. Your kids are grown. You know, all mine are gone doing everything that they wanted to do. Um, and that's fine. You know, I don't, I don't want to stop somebody from living their life. Um, I don't want their life to become my life. My life is finding out what works for a Luciana, you know, and you have to find out what works for you whatever that is. But when I woke up this morning, I really felt like not, I felt inspired. I felt encouraged. I felt like I'm in good health. I'm, you know, I can do whatever I want to do. And sometimes that to do list or that task is nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, eat. Oh, sleep. Oh, nothing, 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 nothing. I don't plan the next day, today, I live each day 
for what it is each day. It's what I'm going to do this day. You know, I have things I look forward to, but I'm not planning it. You know, like I'm, I'm planning to go, like I'm, I'm going to go on a trip to Chicago, but I'm not going to really start getting down um, to the nit and gritty until I actually go. You know, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to accomplish? Sometimes, I think I did a podcast, sometimes you got to go off grid. There is no map. There is no direct line to where you might, some of the best self-discoveries that you make are the ones that you didn't plan. They're just like, oh, wow, I was heading over to see this aquarium, but I'm going to go see these street performers. I want to talk to them. You heard me swallow. I think I heard myself swallow loud. (laughs) You know, I like that, you know, I am who I am and I make the best of it. I don't make excuses, but I make the best of it. And I do not, I do not apologize for me doing me and taking care of me and making sure that I'm okay. You know, I have people that have walked out. I'm pretty sure you have too. You have people who have walked in and out of your life. That's no, that, okay. You don't have to sit and wonder what they're doing. That has nothing to do with you. When they see you, if they see you, you are smiling, you are glowing, you are fierce, you are fine, you are all together. You're not missing nothing. You didn't miss a step. They thought you failed. You just merely stumbled. And this is just to encourage you and be thankful for the learning opportunity that was bestowed upon you at that time. Because look how far we have grown. Look how far we have gone. It's amazing. It's amazing how we just have, where we were last year, um, where we are, were compared to last year with the bad example because we're always dealing with COVID. But you still, things were birthed out of COVID. You know, people found out that when there was a couple during COVID, they couldn't really stand each other. You know, because you're locked down in the house with that person 24 hours almost a day. That's it, it sh- that that really should tell you a lot about that other person. You know, everybody was couldn't wait to get back outside because you know when you realize the person that you would, you don't really like them that much. But I like me. I like everything about me. I don't make excuses for me. I don't I don't let people tell me, "Oh, you should do this or you shouldn't do that." I take, you know, when I'm branding, you know, I take everything into consideration. But at the end of the day, this is my legacy. This is something, my brand. This is what I put my name on. You know, if I want to change my hair color to blonde, red, purple, green, shave it off, put put some on, whatever. I can do whatever I want to do. If I want to drop $400 on a pair of sneakers, as long as everything is taken care of around me, I can't solve all the world problems. But I can do my fair share. And contribute, but if I want to drop 400, 2,000, 3,000 on a trip, on a pair of shoes, on a bag, on a wallet, on clothes, it's my business. You know, I don't have to answer to anybody. I'm not taking from somebody, I'm not taking something that doesn't belong to me. You know, everything that I've earned, I have earned every bit of this. These years that I am benefiting from the years that I couldn't. No, I'm not making it up. No, I'm not living in denial. No, I'm not trying to recreate my childhood by doing, because now I have the adult money to do. No, no, but I'm not going to give myself less and give it to someone else. I am the first person that matters in a relationship. And what better relationship to have than the one with yourself? You know, so I woke up this morning grateful, thankful, happy to be here, you know, ready to uh, see what life has to offer me and uh, go with it. You know, go with the flow. Go with the flow. Be grateful. Be thankful. You know, be thankful. Stop complaining and start living. Start believing Start trusting your gut, your intuition. Start that. You're not missing. If you were, if you were, I, I was going to say this. If you were meant to be 
somewhere else for such a time as this, you would have been there. Think about it. If you were meant to be with somebody, you would be with somebody. The universe is not punishing you. It's not holding it back from you. It's because you have something else to do. You got something else to do. And because you are a giver, you can't give to the world because you are the gift. (laughs) You can't give and receive if you also have to deal with someone that is your confidant, your, your partner, your, you know, your children, whatever it is, they deserve your time and energy. You can't go out and travel the world when you got kids. Unless you take them with you. you People say, oh, yes, you can. No, you can't because the kids need stability. You know what? If you are in a relationship and you, you guys are planning trips, everything can be go, 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 go. At some point, like, well, you know, that's going to cost us $10,000. But guess what? We're trying to redo the roof. You know? You know, we, you know, hey, I'm, you know, I got laid off. I don't have to, I don't have to re, reconfigure everything in my life. You know, you don't have to take on that stress. You know, you can not answer your phone. You can answer your phone. Whatever you choose to do, you can do it. But, you know, stop thinking that this time that you're in, it's not a time capsule that you buried in the backyard. You are a living, breathing human being that has so much to offer the world that maybe it's not meant for you to give it all to one person. Maybe the one person you're supposed to give it to, to yourself and spread the love and the light to others. But anyway, I I wanted to give you a positive Thanksgiving gratitude podcast because we need that. We need that. We don't need, we had a hell of a week. Hell of a two weeks. Hell, we had a hell of a year. And we're still reeling from that. But hey, live life on purpose. Be grateful. Be thankful. I appreciate you. Conversation with Eluciana. As always, I'm on that YouTube. Let's go. Let's turn it up. Let's go. Um, Twitter. um, I'm going to be changing just a little bit critiquing some things because you got involved, you know, you got involved. I can't stay the same at the core, at my heart, my mind, I'm still the same in Luciana, but I do need to uh, critique um, and, and really branch out and give you guys more of me in a more um, somewhat controlled setting. And what I mean by that, I'm still going to be me. That's never going to change. But I need to realize that there's certain things that with, you know, self-improvement is all about self-improvement. And that's what I'm doing. Again, thank you for joining Conversation with the Luciana. You have a wonderful, 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 awesome day. Enjoy your time with your family, friends, or enjoy the time by yourself. Enjoy it because you never know your life can take off. In it. instant and it can be like you just going 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 and then you're gone leave an impact on the world you matter you're important thank you i'll talk to y'all soon and i'm out